If an athlete gets an infection during the games, it is obviously going to have a very significant negative effect on performance. When we looked at the Beijing Olympics, what we found was that a fifth of all athletes and a quarter of all support staff attended us with some sort of infection. For the London Olympic Games, we focused on a strategy to minimize the risk of infection. The last thing you want to do is get food poisoning or pick up any kind of stomach bug or anything like that because let's be honest, that's four years kind of down the toilet and you've worked hard enough not to have that happen. So just think being hyper vigilant about washing your hands, using hand sanitizers, be extremely careful and hopefully that won't happen. The two most significant things you can do are one is avoid trying to put your hand near your face or your mouth. The other simple thing that people can do is wash their hands regularly. In advance of going to the games, you know, there's always stuff you can do. One big thing is vaccinations. It's really important that these are up to date. You're going to a completely new environment and it's important to have your body ready for that. The other element that I find really important that I, I used to find people forgot all the time was teeth, getting a dental checkup. Kind of, for me, a year before the Olympics, then six months, then three months. We're asking athletes to have their basic vaccinations up to date, some more vaccinations that they should have for just travel in general, and then specifically for the games, typhoid and yellow fever.